Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and in this one, I'm going to be, I'm going to be uh, I guess you could call it, showcasing, um, my healthier avocado trees. So, here they are. These guys are about a year old now, or, actually, probably a year and one quarter, and, uh, they're doing quite nicely. I've man, I've, uh, gotten them to grow straight, managed them. Um, and how I did that is when they start, see, when they're by a window like this, they tend to, the tip tends to curve towards the sun in an attempt to get more light. So what I did is when it started to curve, when the plants were growing, and when the tip was starting to curve towards the sun, I spun it around so then the tip was curving away from the sun. And then it would go back, try to get back to the sun, and in the process it would somehow, you know, straighten itself out. So that's how I did it. But, yeah, you can see they're nice and straight. Unusually straight, I would say. <laughs> but, they're both the same age. Even though one of them's a little bit smaller. And you can see these leaves under here. <laughs> and you're probably wondering why those are there. But, see, these leaves, this, this is what I would call leaf litter. Just like, and little piles of leaves, whatever, you know. But the, they have several benefits. One, they help retain moisture. And outdoors, they help prevent runoff. And two, they supply nutrients. So you can see, there's also some other organic matter in here. I have a little peach pit in there. I mean, no, that's a, that's a beech tree nut. I have some uh, fragments of an avocado. Um have some grass. You can see it's layered up quite nicely. And it's, it's definitely made the soil better. Helps retain the moisture. Some grass here. Yes, so yeah, there's some grass growing in here. When it gets taller, I'll just pluck it and just put it in there where it can decompose. So yeah, that definitely helps. So... Yeah, I trimmed off all, all the lower leaves recently because they were starting to turn brown on the tips, like these ones. But they were doing even worse. I mean, they weren't terrible, but, you know, I did it anyway. So, I took those all off in hopes that it will maybe help the plant somehow. I don't know if it will. It's not really doing anything right now. These other leaves are still getting browner. Even these... Nice green ones up here are starting to. But yeah, and now I'll show you my other plant. This is my little grass plant. <laughs> He's been growing in here for, uh, I don't know how long, probably almost a year now. I've lost track, but you can see he's getting quite long. And this is the same type of, I'm pretty sure this is the same type of grass we have growing in our lawn. I don't know how on earth it ended up here, because <laughs> this pot's been inside since before this grass even sprouted. So, I don't know how that happened. But, um, it established quite the root system in there. You can kind of see the roots there. But yeah, I have to keep trimming him back. He definitely needs a haircut. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. What I'll do is I'll take, after I trim him, I'll take the, um, the grass I've trimmed off and I'll put it normally underneath my avocado tree. I'll put some of it under here, with the organic, nice organic matter, and then I'll put some of it under this oregano plant right here. And this guy, I've had him since, um, fall of 2020. So, yeah, he's growing quite nicely. Haven't had to trim him much, but, yeah. So that's how my plants are doing. At least some of them, anyway. I have more.